Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today lesson we will create our base structures, base activity, base fragments, and base view model we will create. Let's begin quickly. First of all, I want to close these entire tabs and inside the Inside the UI package, I want to create one more package. This package name will be base. And first of all, I want to create our base activity. For do this, I am uh, creating a Kotlin class. Class name will be base activity. And first of all, I want to uh, create our generic structures uh, data binding view data binding and also view model. And before that, uh, of course, we have to create our view model our base view model because uh, we will use this uh, base view model inside our base activity that's why we have to create uh, base view model first base view model is uh, simple uh, just just this code uh, we need let's back to our base activity view model base view model like this and we have two constructors uh, first constructor will be our layout layout like uh, for this i am creating a variable layout id it will be int and also one more uh, parameter for view model class it will be class type of course view model and this base view model extends uh, of course app compact activity and we will use this possible let's create our disposable uh, parameters internal variable disposable extend composite is possible by lazy composite is possible and close is tag after that uh, we'll connect our uh, data binding uh, for our view like this while binding by lazy data binding util dot set contact view activity will be this and layout id as data binding of course and same thing we will do uh, for our view model by lazy view model provider view model provider and this that gets view model class this is for our uh, define uh, our view model and we will create an x and uh, and right now we will create a abstract class, abstract function uh, for initializing uh, data binding, data binding okay let's create uh, our own create binding dots lifecycle owner 
equals to this Ah, sorry for that. I forgot to one thing. Of course, our uh, <laughs> our class uh, will be abstract class. That's why uh, we took uh, this error. We took and uh, let's create our pause. And on stop and also on the uh, functions okay our uh, base activity is ready and now uh, we will create our base fragments and of course this class uh, will be an abstract class we have to our uh, we have to define our generic structures uh, like view model or like uh, data binding view data binding and view model base view model like this and define some constructors first constructor will be out layout race I mean we can uh, copy the uh, from base activity but uh, I want to write these codes uh, you shouldn't uh, you should uh, do like this for learning var layout id type will be integer and also private ball view model class type class and of course view model and of course this will be a fragment and we are inside the uh, fragment uh, that's why we have to create our view model uh, parameters and also binding parameters and internal variable uh, disposable equals to composite disposable I mean uh, several things uh, are different uh, from base activity because I mean uh, this is I mean uh, we are in the fragments uh, right now of course uh, some defines uh, will be different okay we can uh, create our own create function right now and inside on create function activity let's check activity let's and define our view model we model provider it's and null safety that gets we model class and let's create a abstract function in its data binding And on creates inside on creates view function on creates view we don't uh, we won't uh, use this return uh, uh, instead of we will uh, define our bind binding equals to data binding util that inflates inflator layout ID container and attached will be false like this 
and of course return binding dots root it's like a uh, define binding in uh, fragments actually and inside on created function on created uh, override function we will call uh, our on in its abstract function and I want to create on attached on attach uh, override function also okay guys uh, as you can see we created our base activity we created our base fragment and also base view model uh, our base <laughs> our base view model is uh, empty right now but don't worry we will uh, write some codes inside our view, uh, base view model later and uh, this video is done uh, thanks for watching if you want to support me buy a coffee for me i'll wish i will share a link below the description thanks for watching see you next video